Well, this morning we're taking a look at the drug scourge striking our city. They include drugs similar to synthetic cannabis, ice and ecstasy. We've been given an extraordinary look inside the jobs of some of the first responders, those on the front line when a drug trip goes terribly wrong. In particular, there was a spike on New Year's Eve 2013. A bad batch of drugs was circulating in Perth. The warnings were out there, but even still, at least 10 people did not listen, all taking a blue or grey pill imprinted with a lightning bolt that sparked a night of hell for hospital staff. An article about that very night has now been published in the Medical Journal of Australia. The lead author, Dr David McCutcheon, joins us live on the program this morning. Dr McCutcheon, thanks for your time this morning. You're welcome. Just just go back to that night, if you will, that particular night, that bad batch of drugs. What sort of danger were people putting themselves in? Well, they were in danger in the community due to their altered mental state. And then by the time they got to hospital, some of them were really seriously unwell. One patient had intractable seizures and had to be put in a medically induced coma in the intensive care unit. Other patients were sweaty, writhing on the bed, agitated, combative. None of them were having a good time. 83 people, we understand, uh, turned up needing care in a space of seven hours. That must have put an incredible amount of pressure on staff. Yes, I'm very proud to work with all the staff at Royal Perth Emergency. It was an extremely busy night. Everyone was under a lot of pressure and, um, and we got through it in the end. Uh, often we hear reports of staff being physically threatened on these sorts of nights. Was this particular night one of those occasions? Uh, it did happen from time to time on that night and unfortunately it's a problem as been reported in many emergency departments around Australia. A lot of violence is, uh, is due to alcohol or amphetamines and we are specially trained to deal with violent and aggressive patients and we have a very professional security force that helps us as well. Dr McCutcheon, can I just uh, bring you forward now to just last night. Six people we're hearing were taken to hospital after overdosing on a party boat in Queensland, two of those people, two young men now fighting for life. It's believed they took a drug called liquid fantasy. How hard is it for authorities, for doctors like yourself to keep up with all of these new drugs, particularly synthetic drugs that are now appearing? Uh, it's very difficult. Um, fantasy has been around for a couple of years, but some of these new drugs are being invented day by day. Um, where We need to do a lot more research to find out more about these chemicals and what they do to people. All right, well, Dr David McCutcheon, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Of course, the reality is it is not just one hospital and it's not just our city. Synthetic drugs are on the rise and authorities are struggling to keep up with them. Police and hospital staff deal with drug-affected patients. Paranoid, sometimes violent. Violence and threats in emergency departments have been a growing problem and that is very much fuelled in particular by crystal methamphetamine. You hear a lot about alcohol fuelled violence but people aren't actually drinking that much more than they did 30, 40 years ago. Police say they're seizing more and more drugs and arresting more criminals than ever before. Last year they seized 27 tonnes of drugs across Australia and arrested around 300 people a day. Here in WA, police confiscated 120 kilograms of amphetamines, 64% more than last year during almost 6,000 raids. But manufacturers stay one step ahead. Synthetic cannabis shops find new products that haven't yet been added to the prohibited drugs list. They actually they change the formulas all the time to keep up with the changes in laws and the availability of chemicals. One thing we do know for sure is that they do like a profit. So it's going to be the cheaper drugs that are actually included in the product. International importers invent new ways. This group busted in Wangara last year with $34 million worth of methamphetamines hidden in ceramic tiles. However, the noose is tightening. Laws introduced to Parliament last month will ban any substance that claims to have psychoactive effects, regardless of its chemical composition. It will give police the power to seize that product in those shops, to prosecute the owners for um, selling, supplying, manufacturing, distributing or advertising. A new awareness campaign by the federal government has hit our TV screens, thrusting the brutal reality of the ice epidemic into Australian lounge rooms. 
The National ISK Task Force has also been set up to find a way to tackle Australia's drug epidemic. People say we're winning the war on drugs. I think any cursory look around says that we're not. Eliza Fussell, Today Perth News.